Let me set this up. Take a look at the screens, if you will, and I want you to see the two people on the screen. One on the left is a high priest by the name of Joshua. The one on the right is a governor by the name of Zerubbabel. These two men were chosen to go back and rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, rebuild the house of God in Jerusalem. Now, when they got back to build the house of the Lord, they ran into all kinds of problems trying to build the house of the Lord. As I'm setting this up, I want to remind you of something. Sometimes people think that if God asks you to do something, that everything just automatically falls into place every time. How many of you know that sometimes God, you can be in the will of the Lord doing exactly what the Lord asks you to do and still hit delays? De delay does not mean denied. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But you can be doing everything that you know in the will of God and still run into obstacles in your way and be set back from the project that the Lord sent you to, to, to work out. I've, I've been asked that question so many times. Well, if God is the one that asks you to do it, why all the trouble? Why all the obstacles? Well, I, the only way I can answer that question is because it sends you to look for things you didn't know you needed. It strengthens you in areas of your life that you didn't even know needed strengthen. It caused you to do inventory in parts of your life that you would have never looked at otherwise. So I think that all things do work together for the good of them that love the Lord, even delays. That when God has a delay, there is always a purpose, a prioritizing purpose of some sort in your life that is going to make you better when you come into the promise. It's going to make you more equipped when you come in to the blessing. So even though there's a delay, it doesn't mean that you've been denied the will of the Lord. So you've got to keep that in mind.